Hello, my friend. As you know, I am not a fashion channel. <laughs> I do four fashion videos every single year. That's it, just four. And today is the day. So if you're interested in fashion, specifically fashion subscription boxes, this is the video for you. I am going to go over what I was sent from two different fashion subscriptions. The first one, is wantable. It is very heavy. I have no idea what's in here. <laughs> and the next one is Stitch Fix. They both have the same styling fee. They're pretty much, they're very, very similar in what they provide, but they're two different, very much competing companies. So today I'm going to open up both boxes. I'm going to show you what they sent me and we will decide who wins for winter of 2023. Wantable or Stitch Fix. So hang tight. We're getting into it right now. I believe the last time that we unboxed one of these, we started with Stitch Fix. So let's go ahead and start with Wantable. So Wantable I've found so far is usually a bit more expensive. They're both expensive. Let me just say that. <laughs> Compared to what prices you're gonna be paying in the store for similar items, it's pretty expensive. But for me, I personally love the idea of a person styling me, someone that is more fashion inclined than I am, picking out pieces of clothing for me so that I don't have to go to the store and hunt. It's not fun for me. I don't enjoy clothes shopping. So this kind of takes that out of it. And I'm willing to pay a little bit more for pieces for my time that it takes me to go to the store, for the frustration, for the emotional stress that I personally feel when clothes shopping. I hate clothes shopping. The only time I enjoy clothes shopping was when I was 13 and I used to go into dress stores with my best friend and we used to try on all the dresses and buy nothing and now I feel kind of bad about that but I was a child and I didn't know any better. But that was literally the last time I had fun clothes shopping. This is fun for me and it's also fun for me to share this process with you. So let's get into what is in my wantable. So the first thing I see is this sweater right here. It is very heavy. It's very big as far as like the sleeves go. It's got the big, is that called dolman sleeves? Just really big sleeves. Um, it's kind of cape-like almost. So I am going to be trying on all of these things. I actually have a camera set up upstairs so that you can see my full body instead of me trying to back up in the corner like I usually do because I know that really irritates some people that you can't actually see the full shots. So we're going to try to fix that today. I listen and I try to fix things. So that is piece number one. That is called the Ryu Boat Neck Pullover in Sierra. It is $89. Oh my gosh. That is cuckoo bananas. But I can see why it, it's, it's heavy. It feels nice. $89. Oh my gosh. All right. Next thing. This feels really soft too. This feels nice. This is a brown sweater. It is also very plain. It also has big sleeves. Um, so I'm, I have a feeling this is gonna fit me very similarly. It's, it's a bigger fit, which I've been really digging on lately. I haven't really liked a lot of the form-fitting tops lately. I don't know, I just feel like more free if it's more open. This shirt, by the way, is a shirt that I got from Wantable in a previous season. This looks like this is an off-the-shoulder rib knit sweater in espresso. Okay. Well, we will try that on. Okay, this I already know that I'm sending back because the last time I kept black pants, I haven't worn them since and it has been a big uh, regret. <laughs> a regretful purchase. I was like, well, I don't own any black pants. I'll try. I never grab them. I always grab blue jeans. So I'm definitely gonna send these back. Uh, it is a pair of black pants. They look very nice though. This is the Abbey High Rise Ankle Skinny Black in Black Rinse. It is also $89. And then the sweater that I showed you a minute ago is $79. I feel like these prices have gone up a lot. The cheapest thing I have here is $69. <sighs> that's, that's a lot. I don't think I want to spend $500 on clothes today. I don't think I want to do that. For the shirt, ooh, see, they know my love of plaid. They figured this out. They have figured out how much I love plaid. So <laughs> this is the Carly plaid top in dark maroon. It is $69. This is, this is very me. They know me. They know I they know I'm gonna fall for the plaid every freaking time. I don't have a, a black and red plaid shirt, so <sighs> we'll see. We will see. 
And then here is a green shirt. I do not own any green sweaters like this. Uh, they're all very similar. I don't think I need all of these sweatshirts. They're all very similar. This is the comfy side slit pullover in Amazon. And the side slit is down here. This is the side slit right there. So it's, it's not like it slits all the way up the side. So that's good. I don't know if I would like that style, but yes, we will try it on. I will say though, everything feels heavy and very well made. It looks really nice. Oh goodness. Lake Tahoe is one of my favorite places. I have great memories of visiting there a few years ago. And it's a sweatshirt that says Tahoe on it. And it's soft and it's comfy. But this Tahoe sweatshirt is $78. Why? Why are we like this? Why is, why are the prices so high? Oh my gosh. And then finally, to wrap up my love for plaid, oh, this is very soft. This here is the Hiker Plaid Fleece Jacket in Sandstone. It is $89. It is very soft. And the thing about this that I can tell right away is that as soon as I wash this in the washing machine, because I am not a hand washing kind of bitch, I will not hand wash anything. You tell me it's hand wash only. I am not buying it, period. <laughs> because I know I am not doing that. I, I, no, I'm not. I'm just not doing it. It's not my thing. I just won't buy it. So I can tell this is going to pill. Like I can feel it that this is not going to look like this for very long. And did I mention this is also $89? So I'm sure it'll be very cute, but I probably will not keep this. That is why this was so heavy. So there's all these sweatshirts in here. Okay, let us move on to Stitch Fix. And my stylist, Ashley, is still my stylist over there. She is so sweet. She knows that I, this is one thing, I'm, I'm very uh, parasocially attached to Ashley. So I, t <laughs> I tend to be a little more biased towards Stitch Fix, I think, because of that. Ashley knows I have a YouTube channel and she writes me little notes about how this is gonna look on, good on camera and all that stuff like I just I'm very emotionally attached I don't know why I get emotionally attached to people who just type me things I'm weird all right okay so let us open up oh by the way with both of these subscriptions if you don't like something or if you're sending anything back they send you a USPS uh, mailer here it's postage paid and you just put it out with your regular mail at least at my house we're allowed to do that just put it out at regular mail and then they pick it up and it, it's very easy returns and I think all USPS places allow you if the postage is paid to just ship from your house I'm not 100% sure on that all right so we have I am I am hooked up with winter shirts for the rest of my life if I buy all of these things. Okay, so with Stitch Fix, you get a little envelope and it says all of the things and all of the stuff. Okay, so the prices are much less for Stitch Fix. We have $65, $58, two of them are $44 and one $68. Let us see. So we have another very soft sweater. This is the Market and Spruce, which is the Stitch Fix company. It is called the Jackson Crew Neck Waffle Sweater. And it is very soft, very cozy. It definitely feels a little more loose. Like you can kind of like see, see my knuckles through it a little more. I don't think any of the stuff from Wannable you could do that with, but it does feel very nice. Next up, okay, ooh, it's very soft, but it also feels like that material that's gonna pill, which is kind of upsetting and disappointing. It looks like this is the Skoda hooded knit top. I don't see how this is knit. I don't feel any knit happening here. It just feels, is it knit when you like knit something? Like you can see the, the knits in it. <laughs> I don't see any knits. Um, it feels extremely soft, extremely comfortable. I'm just worried about how it's gonna wash. Ooh, I think they sent me a dress because I have been wearing more dresses lately. Aren't you proud of me? I never wore dresses until this year, <laughs> unless it was like to a wedding or something like that. I never wore dresses just casually. This one looks like it may be very cute and may be very ugly. <laughs> We will have to see how it fits on me. I don't know. I like the pattern. I don't love the pattern. It's kind of cute. I don't know. I'm going to have to try it on and see what we think. This is the Natasha Knit Faux Wrap Dress. So we we will see about that. I, I'm, I'm about 40% sure that I'm going to like that. Stitch Fix knows my love for plaid as well. <laughs> this is the Charlie Top. And it is blue, uh, blue plaid. But it goes down to this like unique looking dip thing going on. Like as far as the, the ink, it looks like it's been dipped in like a darker ink. That's kind of weird, but we will try it. It feels very soft, very comfy. Yes. Finally, it looks like I've got some shoes. 
comes in this little baggie here and ooh, these are cute oh i'm dropping them these are really cute those are totes adorbs these may be a winner i really like those those are super cute these are called the clarice healed booties all right, my friends, so now that I have opened everything, I'm gonna bring these boxes upstairs and set up a whole setup so that we can see the outfits like actual head to toe instead of me going like this. <laughs> Looking like I'm on a freaking surfboard trying to like huddle down so you can see like my face. We're gonna, we're gonna try to take care of that. We'll be right there. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> I'm not used to filming up here and I'm also filming on my phone instead of my camera and that's Haley. She's gonna be here. That's just, you know. Hi, baby, you wanna be in the video? You wanna be in the video? Okay, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go change in the first outfit. I'll be right back. Okay, here is the first shirt. Bloop, bloop. So this is the off the shoulder one, obviously. I pulled it off the shoulder though, because it, like I just put it on and it feels like it's fine like this, but it's supposed to be off the shoulder. I mean, you can choose which shoulder. And I can't see as well as I can see downstairs. How's this look? That's kind of cute. I kind of like that. That's kind of cute, but it also looks like it's forced off the shoulder. Like it doesn't look like it's naturally off the shoulder. It looks like I'm like, hey, I'm gonna pull my sweatshirt over so you can see my shoulder. <laughs> like I feel like the cut is a little weird. I don't know, man. Let me try the other shoulder. All right, let's try the other shoulder. Does that shoulder look better? Is it supposed to be this shoulder? Does it matter? I don't know. But I'm not dying over this as much as I thought I would. I think that it's very cute, but I feel like the, the off the shoulder bit is a little bit forced. Let me know if you think the same thing. Okay, I got the second one on. All right, this is the boat neck pullover. This is actually really comfy. It's cute. All right, I'm gonna back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. So you can see the whole thing. Oh, I didn't turn around for the last one. See, I gotta get better at this whole fashion modeling thing. <laughs> I do kind of like the big, like, poofy arms. I don't know, this one's kind of cute. This is a maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe. What do you think, Haley? You like it? Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, I went upstairs and I got a white tank to put on. And I just realized that I wasn't pulling my jeans up because that's another thing y'all get me on is that my jeans don't fit me when they actually do, but it's only because I'm too stubborn to wear a belt. So, <laughs> so I'm going to pull my jeans up. I promise. I, don't, I was a nineties kid, man. Low rise. I just, I forget, you know, it's just a thing. So anyway, what do you think of this one? I think that it is super, super freaking cute. I really, really like this, but I am still concerned about the pilling situation. Like, let me see if I can show you up close. Like the kind of material that it is. It's just, it's very soft, it's very comfy, but I'm worried that after washing it, it's gonna look like trash. So I don't know. Boop, boop. My fashion modeling. <laughs> All right, next one, coming at you. Okay, exposed. All right, here is the green sweater. In the back, and I also put the jeans on. These are like skinny, skinny, skinny jeans. Like these are like skin tight, skinny jeans, but the rise is actually really nice. They feel really good on. It's too bad I don't wear black jeans. And I just, I know I won't. I don't wear the ones I already own. <laughs> or else I would definitely get these if I wore black jeans. But I think this color looks really good on me. I love this color. It's very plain. It's very not special, but it is cute. So that's a maybe too. It's got the little, that's the little cut thing they were talking about. It's very small, but I do like it. I like where it hits on my butt too. In case my pants are drooping down a little bit, you won't see as much maybe. <laughs> my friend, this is so cute. Why do I like this so much? Why is it so overpriced? Why? Why are you growling at me? That's the question. I, I will take you out in just a second. Just give me a second. Okay, let's just finish with this outfit and then I will take you out. I told you I will take you out. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. All right, so this is really cute. It's very, very soft. I love the size of it. I love the fit of it. It is, feels amazing. Like it's soft here. It's soft on the inside, but this is gonna pill because you know how that goes. But overall, I really love this and I freaking love Tahoe. So, you know, it's cute. It's really cute. I wish these prices weren't so dang expensive. I think they know that I'll pay it. That's why. They, they, they know that if I really like it, I'll buy it, even if I really shouldn't buy it. The thing I need to remember is, is I need to think about if this was in a store, would I buy it? 
That's the question. All right, I'm gonna take the dog out. I'll be right back with the next outfit. All right, my other dog has made an appearance. This is Sam. Say hi. Sam, say hi to the people. <laughs> All right, here's the plaid. What do you think? Do you like the plaid? Do we not like the plaid? What do we think? Are we cute? Are we not cute? I think it looks cute. It's very me, but do I need it? That's the question. I have plaid in all the colors. I don't have this color. Do I need it, especially at this price point? Because <laughs> it's kind of obnoxious. <laughs> so, I don't know, you have to tell me. I do like the cut of it. I like the, how it goes down here. Like, I like that little, little bit. I can button it one more time if I want to, but I like it just like this. It's very cute. I like where it hits on my butt. It's adorable. Why, why does it have to be so cute? Why? Okay. I think the reason why they're hanging out with me so much is because it's getting closer to their D-I-N-N-E-R time. So it's not yet though. It's just getting closer and I think they're anticipating. This is the first piece from Stitch Fix. We finished up Wantable. We're doing Stitch Fix now. Uh, this is weird. <laughs> this is a little weird. The like fade to black we got going on here or fade to, fade to navy. It's a little weird. It's kind of cute, but it's a little off. I don't know. What do you think? Because I actually have time this time. Because of when my boxes arrive, I have time to actually listen to your feedback before I have to make choices. Like I can delay Stitch Fix a little easier than I can delay Wannable. So I can actually take your suggestions before I buy anything. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull that, pull that down a little bit and then see if that looks better. That does look better. That is cuter. This is a maybe. It's a maybe. Okay, so this is the one that I said that I think it's gonna pill. Like I don't think it's gonna stay this soft for very long, but it is cute. It's cuter than I thought it would be. La, 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 la. Let's get a little closer. Kind of see the detailing on it with the buttons. It's cute. It's cute. I'm not dying over it though. And I have a similar shirt that has like white stripes on it, on the arms. It's not as soft or as comfortable as this. I might've even gotten it from Stitch Fix. And I really like it. And I feel like this is kind of too similar to that, um, except for, and, and also with the whole possibly pilling thing, I don't really like that. So this is probably gonna be a no. Okay, I, I don't know how I feel. Okay, so the sweater, let's just start there. The sweater is again, it's very plain. Why do I have a shadow all of a sudden? Is that new or has that always been there? Um, I think it's the light that's right there. Um, the sweater's cute, but it's not stand out. And like I said, it's kind of thin. So I don't know. I mean, it's, it's fine. I think that if this was my first Stitch Fix box and I hadn't gotten a million Stitch Fix, Fix boxes before that I've gotten similar things in, I think I would probably be about this. But I have a shirt that's very similar to this that's gray that I really like a lot. Um, speaking of gray, let me show you, well, it's actually, it's kind of like brown gray. Let me show you the shoes, the little booties. I do really like the little booties a lot. Sam, do you like the booties? Do you like them? What do you think? <laughs> Is that a yes? Is that a yes? Do you like the booties? Oh, you do? You like them? Thank you. I appreciate you. Oh, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. All right. All right. So anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I do really like the booties though. I like the shoes. I like the shoes better than the sweater. I like both of them. I just feel like I own so many things that are like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know if I need it. That's the thing. Hmm. Okay, this is actually cuter than I thought it was gonna be. Like, it's giving me good boobage. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's giving, it's giving good boobs. And also, like, it's just cute. Like, I like where it falls here. I like it way more than I thought I would. I actually really like this. I did not expect to like this dress as much as I do. Let's look up close at the little printy thing. Well, don't look at that, because that's not supposed to be there, but look at the print. Let's look at the print. It's very cute. I like it. Way cuter than I thought it would be. And I may actually go on a date again in January because John and I have been so freaking busy in December. January, I can wear this on a date night. That will be ideal. <laughs> All right, my friend, I have tried on everything now from both Stitch Fix and Wannable. So it's time to go back downstairs and see who won this month. I think there's a clear winner, in my opinion, of which one I feel like styled me better. And I'm actually shocked. <laughs> be right back. One, two, three. All right. And we are back. Okay, let us go over everything one by one. So, Wantable. 
Jeans I knew from the jump I was sending back because I know for a fact I will not wear them. So that's the only reason why they're going back. They are very, very cute. The plaid shirt. <sighs> I'm, it, the price is killing me, man. It is absolutely killing me. The fact that this is $69. I may have to do a little online shopping between now and when I finalize this box to see if I can find something similar to this because I really would love to have a black and red plaid shirt, but the $69 is freaking killing me, dude. It's killing me. The Tahoe shirt, it has to be mine. This is something I'm going to splurge on because I really, really like this. And I don't think I can find this exact shirt anywhere else. If I'm wrong, let me know. This is from Project Social T Los Angeles. So maybe they have it for cheaper. <laughs> but if they don't, I am buying that. The green sweater, I don't have anything like this. So I am going to keep that. The pink plaid jacket, even though I really do like the color and I really do like the way that it looks, I am concerned about how it's going to age and that I'll be wear able to wear it for a long time without it looking weird. Uh, it was very, very warm too. So that could either be a positive or a negative, but this wouldn't be something that I would wear in like a room temperature house. Like this would be something I would have to wear outside just because it is so warm. So this is gonna be a no for me. I look back at the footage on the Dolman sweatshirt and I really don't like the way that it looked. It looked better when I was filming, when I was like actively filming and looking at it, but when I look back at the footage, I really didn't like the way that this looked on me, so that's gonna be a no as well. The brown sweater, I'm gonna need your help on because I do kind of like it when I looked back at the footage. I was like, that is kind of cute. But then I still see my point in that it looks like I'm kind of forcing it off the shoulder. So I would love your feedback on this one on whether I should keep this or not. As far as Stitch Fix goes, I love the dress. I love it. Ooh, I just realized I didn't do the little loopy thing yet. Hold on, let me move the loopy things. I know that's distracting, but I love the dress a lot more than I thought I would. It is so cute. I'm really enjoying wearing it. It feels good. Um, it's not overly hot, but it's also weather appropriate for fall and winter. And I might even be able to wear this in the spring, I think. It's got flowers on it, right? So this I am definitely keeping. The gray sweater. If I didn't have something similar to this, I would 100% keep this, but I, I don't think that I need it. Similar with the hoodie, I have something very similar that I believe I got from Stitch Fix. It's possible that if I had gotten this before I got that one, I would have kept this one and then rejected the one that I have just because this one is so much softer. But again, I do have that uh, that concern about the pilling that it, it just isn't gonna look pretty after I wash it. So this is gonna go back. The plaid shirt, I do really, really like this. It is very cute. I do think I'm going to keep it. And then finally, the booties, I like the booties. Throw away the paper though. I do like the booties. They're very cute. I will totally rock these this winter. See, I thought that was gonna be a clear winner until I got down here. And then I really looked at it and now it seems pretty tied. Seems pretty tied. So let's just go over it. Let's see how many total misses we have from each one. So a total miss from Wantable, the Dolman sweater and the black jeans are total misses. For Stitch Fix, I didn't have any total misses. Things that I am sending back, but I do kind of like, that I feel like it was just a miss for one reason or another. From Wantable, the plaid pink jacket, and this I do think I'm probably going to send back just because the price point is just too high for something like this. If this was $49 instead of $69, even that's overpriced, I feel like. I feel like $39 is what you might find this in a store, but if it was $49, I would probably get it. I think $69 is outrageous for this. And the I like it, but I'm sending it back from Stitch Fix would be the green sweater and the red hoodie. I'm keeping two items from Wantable. I'm keeping the green sweater and the Tahoe sweatshirt. I am still on the fence. It may be a third one uh, for Wantable. It depends on what you all tell me about this off the shoulder sweater, whether I'm gonna keep this or not. Oh no, you guys, I just realized something. I looked at the price of this plaid shirt. Guess how much it is? It's $68. It's only a dollar cheaper than this one. And they feel, honestly, they feel the same quality. That is such a bummer. I guess I'm sending that back. It's the price point. It's the price point. There's, this is not worth $68. It's just not. That is so sad because I was going to keep this because I thought it was one of the 44 ones, which would make sense to me, but 68 it's going back, unfortunately. So that means I'm keeping two pieces from Stitch Fix. I'm keeping the, sh the dress and I'm keeping the booties. Usually there is a clear winner. This time there is not, and it is going to be up to you. I am keeping two things from each box. So it comes down to the sweater. If you all think that the sweater 
should be kept, Wantable will win. If you do not think the sweater should be kept, it shall be a tie. And I will say, Wantable, Megan over at Wantable, you did so much better this time. And that is very rare for Wantable. Usually Wantable, I'm like, yes on one thing, everything else is a straight up no. So Megan is really learning my style and I just appreciate her so much. And of course, Ashley did a great job as she always does. But at this point, my friend, it is your turn in the collective brain of makeup awesomeness where we help each other not to buy crap. Well, I guess it's fashion awesomeness too, where we help each other not to buy crap. And help me not to buy crap. Should I keep the sweater or not? I will I will read through the comments and I will make a tally. You can either say keep it or return it. And then I will put in the description box and a pinned post who ends up winning. We'll let it go for like a month. Oh, I forgot one thing. <gasps> I forgot something. I forgot this video is a giveaway. If you made it this far, we're doing a giveaway. We're doing a makeup giveaway. Where'd the box go? I completely forgot. Makeup Revolution sent me, just this week, the entire Grease collection. But this collection has been out forever. So I can't even, like, it's like, I, I feel like at this point, it's the, the hype around the Grease collection has come and gone. And even though there are probably a couple things in here that I could keep, I would much rather give it away to a Grease fan out there. And I know that's completely unrelated to this video, but you never know when I'm gonna throw a giveaway at you. So we are gonna do this the same way I usually do. There is an email address on the screen. You're going to email that email address, anything. <laughs> Just something like, you could say, enter me, you could write me a note, whatever, as long as it's not mean, you are entered to win. And what I'm gonna do is I pick a random, I do a random number generator of how many emails I get, and then I email the winner back. You don't have to follow me anywhere extra, you don't have to do anything extra, just shoot a quick email over there. I'm not collecting your email for any purpose. There's no email list. They're just literally getting dumped into the box and then put into a folder so that I have them just in case I need to reference it for some reason, but I'm not, selling it. I'm not giving it to anybody. It's literally just for entering the giveaway. Do not enter in the comment section down below because your entry will not count. If anybody down below tells you that you've won the giveaway, they are lying. That is not how it's going to happen. I'm going to email you just directly back to the email address you email me from and make it nice and easy. I have a 100% rate of people getting back to me that way, where when I used to do it in the comment section, it would be maybe 50, 50, 60% of people would get back to me. So this has been a one wonderful change to the giveaway system. That being said, this is the real end of the video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I would love to know your thoughts about any of the things that I got besides the sweater. If you want to weigh in on anything else, do you think I made a mistake? Do you think that I should have kept something that I didn't? Do you think I kept something that I shouldn't have? I would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Thank you again so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to hang out just a little longer, YouTube should be recommending a couple of videos for you right over here to watch, including one that I'm picking out for you special right there. YouTube's gonna pick the top one based on your viewing history, but if you do need to go, I completely get it. It is a busy time of year. Thank you for hanging out as long as you did, and I'd love to you, and I will see you in a video very, very soon.